Hey guys, onions 101. So what are the advantages of new crop onions versus old crop or storage onions? Or what are the advantages of store, storage crop onions over um, new crop onions? So what you're gonna see that's the biggest difference. So this is obviously a storage onion. You see that dark skin, that dark, nice, heavy skin set that these onions have? That's what you're gonna see with the storage onion, okay? Um, but what you're gonna run the risk of is the possibility of some sprouting. So if you have a cold chain and you can maintain the cold chain, the sprouting is really a non-issue. Um, these onions right now at 70 degrees, they're currently at 36. If we were to raise them to 70 degrees, would probably start popping, start sprouting at, um, I think about two weeks, 14 to 18 days would be my guess. Um, so you have a shorter shelf life. If you're not moving through your product and your customer within... 14 days and you're that warm, then you need to be careful. However, if you can maintain the cold chain, these onions are going to stay good for a month. I mean, they're just gonna be just like any other onion, but you need to maintain them more like apple temperatures, more 36, 38 degrees, not not the 55 potato building, right? Uh, or potato area in your storage. Or, or a lot of people, a lot of you just put it in the dry area and you have them at whatever your ambient storage buildings are. So that is a problem if that's what you're doing. Um, so again, storage crop, you'll have nice dark skin like what we're seeing here. If you go to the new crop, you've got something that's new. You can talk about it, you can market, you can, uh, you can feel good about what the new crop onion is. Um, but you're gonna see, they tend to have a higher sugar content, so you probably have an equal shelf life, maybe even less with the new crop. I, I would be willing to put a 50 pound bag of my storage onions next to a 50 pound bag of brand new Mexi uh, Mexican or Texan onions and I think we would probably outlast them. Um, but I might have some sprouts. And if sprouts are something that you or your customers are afraid of, that's something you have to decide on. Now, again, you won't see those sprouts if you maintain the cold chain, but if we took two bags, equal onions, 50 pounds, set them on a 60 degree you know, pallet, a pallet at 60 degrees in your warehouse, and came back a month later, these onions would probably look better at that point in time, but they would have some green sprouts coming out. So that's really what you have to look at it as a difference. Um, there tends to be a little bit more mold um, in uh, the growing regions of Texas and Mexico just because of their environment. Doesn't mean that there's problems, that's not what I'm saying. Um, but a lot of people really look at that and they're like, well, should I go new or should I go old? I don't know, I mean, this is what, this is what the old looks like. This is the retailers that I work with prefer old for as long as they possibly can because it is way prettier. Um, but they also, the retailers tend to maintain a cold chain and they have an easier time maintaining that cold chain. If you can't, you might consider the new crop. Catch you guys later. Mm -hmm.